We're back now from Rome with Father Thomas Rosica, a press secretary for the Vatican. Father Rosica, I wonder, has Pope Francis called his predecessor the Pope Emeritus, Pope uh, Benedict? Just after the election, there was a phone call between the two of them, and I think it uh, would have been a very warm phone call. The Pope, the Pope himself, Pope Francis, told us that that happened, and uh, it's a great way to start off the pontificate. We also heard that from the balcony, from the loggia, one of the first things that Pope Francis said was, join me, please, in saying some prayers of thanksgiving for him. So he invited this massive crowd to pray the Our Father and the Hail Mary for his predecessor, Pope Benedict. Would you expect the two men to meet anytime soon? It's most likely that they'll meet in the next few days at Castel Gandolfo tomorrow or the next day. Now, Pope Francis is supposed to have a press availability on Saturday. What is that all about? Is it, is it a news conference? Well, it's not all just a press availability. It's going to be a meeting with all of the journalists, the media, the television personnel that have been here for the past few weeks. It's going to be in the audience hall, Apollo 6 audience hall. We don't know what form it's going to take yet as we're putting all of this together. But if this evening was any indication of his way of relating to people, I think we're in for a treat. It could very well be unscripted. There's this, a wonderful pastoral dimension to this man, a kindness. He's not necessarily bound by strict rules or regulations. Uh, I thought I was watching John the 23rd in the balcony tonight when I saw him come out. Father Rosica, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.